Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. We are into Weimaraners for 40 years. Okay. They've been our breed. Yeah, I'm Linda D'Alessandro. And I'm Lou D'Alessandro. Weimaraners were originally from Germany, and they used them for big game, like deer and things like that. Um, when the big game population was kind of decimated, they changed them into bird dogs. And so they came over to the United States early 1940s, and unfortunately, there was a big craze about them, and people bought them for the wrong reasons. And they fell into kind of disfavor because people didn't know what they were getting into. They're a very intelligent, intuitive breed. They need mental simulation. They can do just about anything. This is a dog that is capable of a great deal. What they're not good at is doing nothing. So you do have to have like a plan to do something with your dog. Linda and I, with our breed that we've been in for 40 years, you know, with the wine runners, we do just about every discipline that's out there with our dogs. So it's, it's a lot of training, it's a lot of learning on our part. Um, somebody that I was talking to a while back said, well, you must be one heck of a dog trainer. You do agility and obedience, and you do field and show and rally, and you go hunting with your dogs, you do tracking with your dogs. And I said, well, it's not so much that I'm a good trainer, perhaps, but the dogs actually train me because the dogs are so intelligent that they cause you to hone your skills and become better at working with them and training with them. They are an active breed. There's a, they're packed full of energy, and they are a versatile breed in that the example of diesel is a good example of all the activities that you can do with the dogs. And it's not that you just can do them. They really excel at them. They're wonderful. They're very attached to their people. They're very much a people breed. Um, and they want to be with you. And that's one of the reasons I think they're easy to train in most cases. They do have that intelligence that Lou was talking about. Um, but they really want to be a team. For the most part, the breed is emotionally stable. Again, they're very people orientated. Um, they're not a dog that you can just put in your backyard and do nothing with because they really want to be part of the family. And if they're not, integral into your family, they can be destructive. Um, and they're a big dog, so they can do some, some damage. Um, but as long as they're getting enough attention and getting ac um, physical activities. activities, and not only physical, but mental, they really are a breed that needs mental stimulation, um, then they're fine. Longest living one we had was almost 16. We do have some problems in our breed, like any breed. Um, there's some hip dysplasia, some thyroid issues, um, but these all are tested for and good breeders test for all of this. There's something called HUU, um, HYM, and SD. Um, those again are simple genetic tests that you can do through Davis, and again, people are testing for all these so they know what they're getting. Um, and then the eyes. Um, the breed has been prone in the past to having extra eyelashes, um, but again, you look for a breeder that is breeding and has a surf to certificate that says they've tested for all these things. And you should do that with any breed. All breeds have medical issues. I mean, it's a matter of genetics. You know, they're all being, have similar genetics. And so different breeds have different issues. So whatever breed you get, you should know what those issues are and make sure your breeder has tested for them. I'm Holly McKnight from Kingman, Arizona. I've been in the Weimaraner breed for 35 years. I choose to do both show and field because I love both. 
I love the field. I love the people in the field. I love the show ring. I love the people in the show ring. Um, I love the end result of hopefully producing that dual champion. It's a fine line that a dual person walks. I try to prove my dual breeding. There's field people that are gonna say, oh, your dog will never cut it in the field. And there's show people with, you know, top 10, top 20 Weimaraners out there and they'll, they'll say, oh, your dog's never gonna cut it in the show ring. So it's kind of a challenge for us dual people to walk this fine line and produce both spectrums of the of the field, the field dog and the show dog, and put it together and say, here is my duel. The Weimaraner breed standards, a medium-sized gray dog with fine aristocratic features. He should present a picture of grace, speed, stamina, alertness, and balance. Above all, the dog's confirmation must indicate the ability to work with great speed and endurance in the field. The height from the withers of a male dog is 25 to 27 inches. The female dog is 23 to 25 inches. A Weimaraner that is colored blue or black is a disqualification to our American breeds um, of Weimaraners. Our parent club doesn't accept them. The importance of the confirmation part of what we do um, that confirmationally correct dog, the way it's built, its, its chest, its legs, its top line, um, the way the chest is built, helps him compete in the field and be able to run. If, if you put a, a young dog down and his feet are way out east and west, this dog is not going to go straight and, and be able to compete running in the field. Or if he's too overangulated in the back legs, he's not going to be able to run with speed and elegance. Hi, I'm Ann Taguchi. I'm a Weimaraner breeder in Southern California, and I'm the president of the Orange Coast Weimaraner Club and a member of the Weimaraner Club of America. Today we're in California City at a field trial. It's the Orange Coast Weimaraner Club. We have about uh, 100 dogs participating in this event from Canada to the East Coast, California, all around the country. This is a regional classic, so we've got some of the best field Weimaraners attending this event. Um, it's important because this breed is a hunting breed and this is where we compete to uh, see who's the best of the best. The competition, um, we are divided into various groups from a puppy to a derby, which is a young dog that's not quite finished. Uh, we also have adult dogs that are completely trained and steadied. Um, the dogs compete to earn AKC field championship points. So a finished dog would be a dog that can go out there, hunt, find birds. Uh, the handler would flush a bird, the bird would be shot, and the dog will retrieve the bird to hand. Unfortunately, in Weimaraners, we do have a big split between the show and field type of Weimaraner. Um, the good field Weimaraners are just as good as any of the other versatile hunting dogs, um, but we just don't have as many but um, they are a fantastic bird dog and they can compete with the best of them. Well, you know, being a, a working dog, which they are, in any breed that's a working breed, you've got an issue. You need to work that dog. You, need, you just can't put it on a corner on the shelf and let it sit there and then pull it out when you decide, oh, let's play attention to the dog today. The dog needs activity, it needs mental stimulation. They do keep you young, and they <laughs> keep you active, and they keep you engaged, and they are just, they complete our family, quite frankly. It's, you know, my son can't imagine having another breed. He's in a position right now where he can't have a dog, but as soon as he can have one, it's going to be a Weimaraner. And I think the world is divided into two camps. You're either a Weimaraner person, or you're not. And it's good to know before you get one which one you are.